highly disappointed in you that you could do that to your own child. Do you want to kill her? What has come over you? Now tell me, if somebody did that to her, will you like it? Madam Adu, I'm only keeping quiet because you're one of the people I respect so much in this village. Why are you always putting your nose in my business now? What is your problem? What is wrong with you? Are you telling me I do not have a right to, to, to discipline my child anyhow I want to? Is that what you're telling me? No, make her listen. That thing is not discipline. You are maltreating that poor child. You are. Do you want to kill her? I'm not going to listen to this anymore. I'm not going to listen to you anymore. I have the right to discipline my child anyhow I want to. Don't tell me that. As a matter of fact, tell her. Tell her wherever she is that she should come back home. She has 12 strokes of cane remaining. Tell her! Nemeka. Nemeka. You need to stop. That poor child of yours. Please love her for once. Stop! If not, if you don't stop, you will do something you will regret all your life. There's nothing I'll regret. You! There stop. is nothing I will regret! Madam, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't know why you think you have a so special uh, uh, place in my heart that you, you, you come and start talking to me anyhow you want to. Is she your child? Don't worry, let her come back home first. Let her come back to this house. Ada? Ada! Get me water! Ada! 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 Don't tell me this girl has not come back to the house since morning. Or did she come back and left without informing me? Huh? This girl is really trying my patience in this house. This girl is really trying my patience in this house. What are you doing here? As you can see, I'm on my way out. I have not seen Ada. And I know she's in there. I don't want to increase her strokes of cane. So go in there and bring her out because she has a lot to do. Oh. So, she's useful to you. And yet you want to kill her. Madam, don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. I don't like the way you talk to me. Don't, don't, don't tell me that. Well. If you must know, your daughter is in the hospital. You broke her arm. I did not break anything. She broke her own arm. I didn't break anything. Well, I'm going to the hospital to see her. You can stay here and eat your corrections, your discipline, everything. Angry man. You think I don't know what you're trying to do? You're playing emotional games with me. So I'll go there and pay bills. 
I hope she broke both her arms. Because if I catch her, I will break the other one for her. Nonsense. allow you go back to that your house. Did you get that? No, Mama, I have to go back. Don't want my father to be angry. Oh. Now tell me, what was his reason this time again for beating you? What did you do? I didn't do anything. I only asked him if I would be resuming school with my mates because I'm all first time school fees and the head teacher said I should not resume second term without paying for first term. Just that. Hey! Memeka, Memeka. What kind of human being is he? Why are you so heartless? Just because your own child asked the question about school. Oh! But you know that you would have come to me instead of going to him. No, he'll kill me if I do that. <sighs> but honestly, I've always told you, you would have come to me instead of going to your father. You know that. Hmm? But you see this wound? It's not healing soon. But the moment you're fully recovered, we will now discuss about your school. Is that okay? Okay, Mama, but Mama, I have to rush to, to, to the house before my father kills me. Hey! Memeka! Sure, sure I will. Do the transfer and send the money to you. Sure, yes, I have it complete. Okay, okay, let me just, okay. Alright, sure, let me call you back. Yes. Yes. What is it? No. Why? Where did I go to? My back. Max. Maxwell. No, 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 not possible. No. Max, what? Max, that's Max, no. No, 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 this is not possible. This no. You decided to come home. Ada, you are very, very lucky. If not for this thing you're carrying on your hand, I would have given you the beating of your life. I'm trying to discipline my own daughter. You decided to run off. You ran off to your Messiah. So that the world will see me as a very wicked father. What have I done to you, Ada? What did I do to you? Father, please. 
can I go inside and rest? My hand is very painful. Please. Wait, wait. So I'm talking to you. And you're asking if you can go inside and rest. You're going to remain here. Ada, you are going to remain here till I'm satisfied in my soul. You remain here. You're very wicked. You're a useless girl. I am trying to discipline you so that you'll be the best. You, 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 you remain there. Nonsense. God, please touch my father's heart so he can love me. I've done nothing wrong. Want you to turn around, give me that beautiful sister. Let me see the beautiful endowment. Okay. Oh, I love what I am seeing. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm gonna spoil you with money. Oh my goodness! Can you just start already? <laughs> Let's okay. do something. Okay. Keep turning around. <laughs> turn around. Period. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Listen, like I said before, now I'm going to spoil you with money. And I'll keep spoiling you with money. More money. More money. And more money. And more. <laughs> you want it like that? Yes. <laughs> I can say you like it. Yes. Do you love money? I love it. And I am going to take good care of you. So oh. you wouldn't even remember your name. Do I look like I want to remember you? <laughs> Listen, I am ready to dine and wine with you. Okay. Take me to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> He should pick up so I will know if he's, he's in custody of the money. This is so frustrating. What do I do now? Should I just pay him a visit? Okay, yeah, yeah, I should just start here yeah. and go to his house. That, that's better. You're sweet. <laughs> Like, I never expected it. You're a prophet. I know, right? You know, I'll keep spending money on you. Not just money, but I'll keep spending more money on you. Are you serious? Because you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I give me a hug. I cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? I'm sorry. I promise you it's not what it's not what you saw. I'm sorry. It's not what I saw. What did I see then? Babe, I'm sorry. This is not my fault. She 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 seduced me. Listen to yourself, Maxwell. You're not even remorseful. 
You took almost a thousand dollars from my purse. And when I came to ask for it, I caught you in bed with another woman. I am sorry. I am really sorry. You keep saying sorry all the time. Yet you, you do worse things. Listen. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I promise to never happen again. And who says it's going to be next time? You see this? This thing between us? It's over. Babe, I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'm really sorry. Maxwell, you're always sorry. I keep forgiving you every time. Yet you keep doing worse things. Just please, I beg you in the name of God, return my money to me if you want my forgiveness. Excuse me. Excuse I'm sorry. me. Don't leave when you're done. I am sorry. I said I'm sorry. Babe, I'm sorry, please. Babe. I am sorry. Madam Adugo, she is fine. She is fine now. Can't you see she's fine? What else do you want her to tell you? Here. Yeah. <sighs> it's nice to know that. But you don't look fine to me. You look pained. It's my arm, but I've taken my medications. <sighs> Maybe I should get you a stronger pain relief. Hmm? Okay, Mama. So I got you some food, then eh? when you are hungry, eh? you eat it. Thank you, ma. Mm -hmm. You look better. If there's anything, you must let me know. Hmm? Okay, Make sure ma. you eat, eh? Okay. Okay. Hmm? Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. You will not eat this food. If you are so hungry, go in there, pack those food you remained yesterday. Put it inside the pot, warm it and eat it. Stop making people think I cannot feed in this house. Stop making people think I am a bad father, Ada. Stop it. You, 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 you want to eat food. If you want to eat this food, you eat it from the floor. This is where you are going to eat it from. You are very stupid.
Thank you so much, <laughs> baby, right. for today. <laughs> You're happy, right? I'm so glad. I mean, look at this. And you love it? I love it. Ah, I'm glad you like it. Thank you so much. Um, how about the money you promised me? Oh, that. Um, you know what? Yeah. Just send in your account number <laughs> and leave. Let me to do the rest. My I'll credit you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'll be just there. Uh, okay. okay. So, um, are we going? All right, let's go. Let me to my own. Oh, yeah. Got water, I'm going I cry for help every day. She could be nigwe because be a yere maka. Day by day, my life is full of struggles. Day by day, I'm facing hardships. This is not the life that I wish for. But there is nothing I can do about it. I'm unloved, I am uncared for. I feel alone, my world is turning dark. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Will my suffering never end? Hey. That you're so happy. Sit down. That you see you. You are as stubborn as your father. Hmm? I told you I can pay your fees. Allow me to pay it. I can't fathom you. Look, look at your hand. Eh? Going around, carrying this hand and selling pure water. Eh? It's not right. Mama, I know you'll be proud of me at the end. And my father said I should not collect anything from you. And I want to prove to him that I can make money by myself, without any help. Hmm. Ah, Nanaka. Mm. Mama, please mm. help me keep this money. I'll use this one to buy in Piota, like, next, um, tomorrow, and I'll keep this one for my school fees. Hmm. You are a wise child, isn't it? I wish your father would see the precious child in you. Thank you, Mama. It's okay, my dear. Don't worry. You see, all this is just for a while. Everything will be okay. Adamo. Ma? Oh, my darling. Okay. We stop there. Where is that robber? Ada, I say, where is that robber? Sorry, robber. Do you think I'm a fool? Where is it? Why will you go and bring it? I said, go and bring it. Ada, 
since you have planned to disgrace me in this village, we'll disgrace ourselves. We are going to disgrace ourselves, Ada. I promise you. Maxwell. I'm leaving. Yes. If you want to go, you go now. Huh? You saw me sleep here. You waking me up because you want to go. You haven't sent me any money yet. But yeah, go, I'll send you the money later. Just go. I'm not going anywhere. That wasn't the agreement. Listen, you 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 Sounding like I'm owing you billions of dollars. Listen, I said just go. I will send you the money. Very simple. Just go. I want to have a rest. Maxwell, I will be expecting the money. Just imagine. Maxwell. I'll be waiting for the money. Like you think money is easy. The little money I've, I've been able to gather as you keep spending it on you. Like you're senseless. I was even thinking this girl is rich. Like she, she's, she's rich. Eh? I'm broke. You are broke. You still want me to spend the little I have. Talk to you, I never feature. I'm fine. How are you doing? Yes. Um, your baby girl has issued you. I know, I know. So, um, I was wondering if um <clears throat> I could stop by tonight. Really? I could even come now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's amazing. All right. Um, so I'm going to just um, pick up some things from my place and meet you tonight. Thank you, my love. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. Oh, God. The Lahaji is a life saver. I need to... I have been spending lovelessly on, on this Nelly girl. I have no money left in this house. I cannot even fuel my car anymore. The worst of it all is that there's no food in this house. Life and things were usually better when Nancy was in the picture. Nelly is, Nelly is obviously a wrong choice for me. Anyway, I need to go out there. I need to go out there and look for a big, a big chick that can foot my bill. Else, hungry go kill me for this house. I swear.
Ada. Ada. Come here. My friend, will you come here? Yes. I want you to wash this clothes and clean up this compound before I come back. Uh, All right? But Dad, my hands are not functioning well. How do you expect me to do all these things? Thunder, Even... thunder fired at your hand. Thunder fired the other hand. Sorry, sir. You must be very stupid. Ada, if you don't wash this clothes and clean up this compound before I come back, this whole village will gather for us, so. Don't say I didn't warn you. Keep your eyes there like one witch. Come on. Why have you decided to bless me with such a heartless father? Who does no love or care for me? I don't know when I'll ever experience a fatherly life from. I wish you can see how I love him. He will not treat me like this. I see other children with their fathers happily. Why am I different? Madam Aduko. Good afternoon. How are you? How is uh, my daughter? Daddy? She's fine. You seem to be in a haste, but uh, please, I want to plead with you. If Ada, your daughter, offends you in any way, please let her be. Take it easy with her so that, that her arm will heal faster so that you don't go and add to the, uh, the problem again, please. I've heard what you've said, Madam Aduko. Eh? What happened was a mistake. Like I always say, that girl needs discipline. And no one would tell me not to discipline my own child. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, train up a child in a way it should go. And that child will never depart from it when they grow up. The same Bible says, spare the rod and spoil the child. I'm even using cane. I've not started using rod. And you're complaining. But then... The Bible did not say you should kill the child. All I'm asking is for you to take it easy with her. I don't know just why I'm using a cane. I'm not using a rod yet. <sighs> just take it easy. Oh, Biko, take it easy with her. Oh? I've, I've heard you. I, I left home since morning. Let, let me go back at least to know how she's doing. That's good of you. My regards to her. Oh? No problem. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Look at her. Old witch. Always poknosing in my business. 
You are not my mother and you not, not, not even let me rest. Waka. You. You're looking so young. Oh. Ah, I thank God. Ah, ah. You and your siblings, eh? For taking good care of me. Mama, you can say that again. You can say that again. You look nice. Hey, I'm so happy my surprise visit worked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't want to tell me you were coming. Of course, I have to surprise my mother. Ah. <laughs> it worked. And the beautiful thing is that I'm preparing your best. Ah, Mama. Huh? But you know I was coming, so why are you doing my favorite? Uh -huh. So I now ended up surprising you as well. Mm? Surprise, surprise! Mama, you won't. Mama, let's go inside. Mama, I'm so happy. You're welcome, my dear. Mama, I can only get you for the Ada? Sir? Oh my god. Ada? Sir? What's going on here? So you're not done washing the clothes I gave you to wash this morning? I'm sorry, sir. My hand is really paining me. I, I, I'm trying, sir. I'm trying. You're trying what? Sir, I'm trying. Ada, you're, you're trying what? You're trying what this game? You want me to, you want me to kill in this? You want me to kill here, Abby? You want me to kill? You want me to? You want me to, to, to kill you here? Right? Yeah? If I will raise a hand up. Raise the hand up, Joe! Ada, where did you get this money from? Have you started stealing in my house? No, no, sir. It's it's the money for my Piotr business. I'm saving it. And why are you saving money in my house, Ada? Why? I'm saving it so that I can go back to school. You are very stupid. What did I say? I'm very stupid. You are very, very stupid. How many times have I told you that education is not for you, Ada? I want to go to school. May thunder strike that your mouth, Ada. Let's thunder from hell strike that your mouth. So I'm talking and you're talking back. Sir. You don't have fear anymore. No, sir. I'm going to take this money from you. I'm keeping it. If you like, go and tell that to your Messiah. Tell her that I seized the money that you saved. All right? I'm Let sorry, her come and beat me and collect it. I'm sorry. Are you mad? Come on, raise your hand up. I'm sorry, sir. You're sorry for what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Raise your hand up. Mm. You're, you're sorry for yourself. <laughs> sorry for yourself. No sense. Mm. You're, you're saving money in my house. Mm.
Mama, I don't, I don't know why I didn't just go to this girl and and, and talk to her. I, I just saw her. She was, she was crying. She looked like she was, she was in pains, and I, I really wanted to talk to her, but something just kept holding me back. Hmm. Something tells me I know the girl you're talking about. Then we have to find her, Mama. <laughs> Please. I, I just feel like she needs help. I, I don't know where or keeps telling her. Where are you? Crying in the Mama. But you don't look okay. What's up now? Sit down. Mama. That's Mama. Mama. This, she's the one. The, 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 she, she, this is the girl. Mm. Mm. I tell you that I know the girl you're talking about. Ada? Ma? How was your sales today? Fine. Okay, Ada. Meet my last daughter, Auntie Nancy. Nancy, meet Ada. You're welcome, Auntie Nancy. Thank, thank you. So, how's the hand healing? And yourself today. <laughs> yes, I <it's> finished it. <laughs> I find a way. Hey! Yes! Come here, this way. I said, come here! I said, come here, hurry up! You said what? What did you say? Where are you coming from? Eh? And what are you hiding behind you? Nothing. Nothing. Ada, what are you hiding behind you? Give it to me now. Ada, I said give it to me! Ada? Sir? Are you mad? So you were trying to sneak into the house? No, sir. Ah. Okay. Huh? Huh. Ada? Sir? These are clothes. Where did you steal them from? Hey, Ada? I did Where did you steal these clothes from? I did not steal it. So where did you get them from? Ada! Mama gave them to me. Hey! So you have gone to Mama's place to run your mouth? No, I did not. No, because... I wish I can really meet the, her evil father. What kind of a man is that? Huh? Just let him be. He's not important at all. He's not. That's life. So when are you leaving? Um, Mama, I... I don't know yet. I just came down here to spend some time with you. That's thoughtful of you. I'm happy you're around. Thank you, so, Mama. Okay. I just wish this, this, this whole thing is... Was a dream, you know. I 
hearing her story and all of that, it, it has a mood that has put me in. <laughs> oh, hey, my mother reminds me, um, Uncle says he's coming back by the end of the year. Same with brother and Nomos. So by December, you're going to have a full house. Oh, thank God. I'm so happy that you and your siblings are all doing well for yourselves. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. As we for thank your God. And your brother, I will call them later and talk with them. It's God. And I'm happy that we are making you proud. Thank you. <laughs> what are you still doing there? My friend, will you go ahead and do the needful? Burn them! You are looking at me. What is that nonsense you're doing like that? Come on, go close and burn that, that nonsense close. Good. They're, 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 they're giving you clothes as, as a fatherless baby or what? They're very stupid. <laughs> are, you, are you aware you're disturbing my peace? Come on, will you go inside and go and grind that egg, we see? Go inside! You stupid girl. So why are you crying? Where's all the money you've been uh, saving for the field? It's time for registration. So, where's the money? Or did your father say you should not go again? Then what's the problem? God collected everything from me. He did what? He collected everything from me. What is wrong with this, your father? It's like he does not want to respect himself. Okay, I'll teach him a lesson. Let's go. No, Let no, Mama, I don't want to go anywhere. Let's go. He will not touch you. He will shout at me. I don't want to go. Okay, stay here. I'm coming. Let me go and save him. Nemeka, why are you this shameless? You are so shameless. You don't provide anything for your daughter. And that little girl is trying her best to provide things for herself. And all you can do is to take the money from her. Hey! You are so heartless. Madam Aduko, I don't know what you're talking about. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, how I don't you're ranting. Oh, I'm ranting. Eh? How will you know? Eh? You don't know. You know what? You just acted like a common thief. And you are a thief. Are you not? Madam Aduko, what's your problem? Ah. No, tell me, what is the color of your problem? Did I steal from you? Did I come to your house to steal from you? I want to know. Why are you so interested in what is happening under my roof? Ah, you want to know why I'm interested? I am interested because Ada is involved. You see that poor child? Your daughter. Hey! She's going through hell for you. In a chill, stenanya, chamanya. I thought I was going to marry. She's not complaining. Mm. Yes, learn to mind, mind your business. She's not complaining. She's not complaining. Did you see her crying? <laughs> you see? If you don't return that 
money, her sweat to her. You are answerable to God. You answer to God. Okay, for good. If you get can they go here now? Go on. Let you see. Uh, thank God I'll be answerable to God. Everybody is answerable to God. Uh, maybe you're answerable to the devil. And that's your own business. You not stay in your house. Because I don't have gates in this place, Abby. You think you can just walk into my house anytime you like and come and tell me nonsense? Don't worry. I'll look for one local dog and buy one. <laughs> Mama, are you sure I won't go and see that man so I can talk some sense into his head? What kind of a father is he? He's not even a father to that girl. He's not qualified to be called a father. He's an idiot, he's wicked, he's heartless. That's what he is. I think we need to take that girl out of our house. If not, we might just hear someday that, that he has killed her or something. I mean, he's too, he's too harsh on her. Ada is so scared of the father. She is so scared. I've told her to leave the father and come back and stay with me. She has refused. Sure. I'm so upset now. Let me go in my dress. Ah. <coughs> Just listen to me. Don't try this next time. Don't go close to my morning without telling me. <coughs> Maxwell, I'm sorry. I, I only needed some money to, to take care of some things. No, you needed some money to take care of some things, right? That is why you, you, you went ahead and took my five thousand naira I kept, right? What else? Was you are very stupid. Very, very stupid. Listen, the next time you go close to anything about me, not to talk of my money, I will kill you. I will just kill you alive. Get out. Just get out. Sorry. No, get out. Get out. Just imagine. I had the girls. The little money I kept, the whole 5,000, you took it. You are broke. Ada? Wait, wait. So, oh, you now feel oh, like a it. big girl. Oh, 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 let, let, let me react. Oh. Ada, you now feel like a big girl who can make enough money for Oh, 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 don't you ever leave this house again to go and hug your daughter. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. I don't think you heard me. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you hear me very yes, well? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I heard you, sir. I heard you, sir. <laughs> Do you think is that your chicken change daughter mommy that I used to feed you here every day? No, sir. Is it what you think? No, sir. <laughs> No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Ada? 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 Yes, sir. How many times did I call you? Two times. Two times? I'm sorry, sir. You heard me call you two times? No, three times. Three times. <laughs> the next time you leave my house to go and hug your daughter, Ada. Hey. Ada? The next time you leave this house to go and hug your daughter, Ada. I will finish you. I'm sorry, sir. I will finish you, Ada. <laughs> go to the backyard and find something to do. I said, go to the backyard. Go! Start going. Start going. Start leaving. Hey, shut up. Go! Double internet. I'm sorry, sir. Get out! Demon. Devil incarnate. You went to report me to your Messiah. I see she'll come here and beat me. I will buy a dog because of that foolish woman. Don't worry. Ah! <laughs>
Madam Adugo, I am very sorry for what happened yesterday. I was only trying to caution her. I mean, she's too small to start thinking of making money now. I have warned her to stop hawking. What is, she, what, what, what is she looking for money for? I mean, what will a small girl like that be searching for money for? What, 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 what responsibility does she have? Now tell me. When you, her father, does not take care of her, what do you want her to do? What do you expect her? You want her to go about and start begging? You know something? I am proud of her dad. Madam she Adugo. She is very intelligent and hardworking. Uh, Madam Adugo, right now I don't understand you at all. I don't understand you. Are, are you telling me that you're supporting that small girl? That you, 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 you want her to go out there to, to, to hawk? I only came here to apologize. Alright? You're like a mother to me. I would not want to disrespect you. That's why I'm here. It's okay. Just be a changed man. Take care of your responsibilities. Take care of your only child. An adorable, innocent child. All right, say no more. Uh, thank you very much anyways. Thank you. Look at him. What kind of arrogant <laughs> apologies is that? As if he's even going to change. Mama, I just wish I was here when he came to say that nonsense. <laughs> Can you imagine? He left not long ago, but he's not an important personality to even see. Forget him. Mama, we, we, we can't just keep ignoring him. We have to talk to him. Someone needs to put sense into his head. Mm. Every time him, 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 what? <laughs> that will mean putting Ada into more trouble, more problems. But because Mama... Mama, we have to do something. We need to act. We need to do something. That little girl is going through a lot. What nonsense. Every time he make, every time he make, what? Is he the first to have a child? He can't be responsible for once. Ah. I've heard you, my mama. Mama, let her just call me. Please just call me. Relax, eh? Relax. Ah, Nemeka. You're biting the much you can chew. Soonest, you will expose yourself. Ada? Ada, get me water. Oh. Ada? What, what, what kind of deaf child is this? Eh? 
you will never call her wolves. So Ada had the guts to leave this house without informing me first. She has started growing wings. Because of that, her, her old uh, Messiah. Nobody will see her disobey me now. When I try to discipline my own daughter, people will start saying rubbish. It's alright. What kind of bad luck is this? What kind of bad luck is this? Ah! Somebody help! Mommy help! useless or cut a man just hit me and ran up. I don't know where he was rushing to. You mean he did this to you? Yeah, he did this to me. This small road. Your leg? Yeah, he hit my leg. Sorry. I, 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 I don't know what I did to this foolish man. Yeah. yeah, he just hit me and ran away. That's so, that's so bad. Sorry. Can I can I help? Let me just see if I can. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Just, just. Are you are you sure I can? Oh, slowly, slowly. Ah! Ah! Sorry. Thank God. Sorry, are you? Are you hey. sure you can move with this? No, 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 no. I need to. I need to go to your mama's hospital, please. And so, yeah. Okay, yes. then. Let me just. Let me take you there. Okay. Yes. There, there's one. Okay. Sorry. Just no, slowly, slowly. 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 This is this is really dangerous. Sorry. Slowly. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. For this weekend. Very, very useless, madam. Ada, come this way. What's wrong with you? You're always crying, tears all the time. When will this your tears stop? Come, come, sit down. What is it this time again? 
What is it this time? Mama, I disobeyed my father. He wanted me to stop working pure water, but I didn't listen. And he said he's going to kill me if I hug pure water again. I can't stop working pure water. I am determined to go to school. Ah. Do you know you're so stubborn? I asked you to come here and stay with me. You refused. What do you want me to do? If I go with you now to plead with him, eh, or warn him not to beat you, he will still beat you when I leave. You know that too well. So what do you want me to do? Eh? Mama, please help Stop me. Crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. Hmm? Okay. Stop crying. I'll make sure your father does not beat you. Today, at least for today. Hmm? Okay, Mama. Come here. This man and what happened to what? his leg? Um, I, I met him along the road and he, his his leg was broken due to hit and run that the bike man did on him. So I asked to help him. Wow. Hmm. Wait. Don't tell me he's a father to Ada. He is. And Tim. Are you telling me this kind heart here is your child? She is my last child that stays abroad with my brother. She came in last year to establish herself in the country. Hey, now, what, a, what a small word. I brought back Ada. She was so scared of coming home because of your hitting and hitting her over and over. But I can see, with a wound on your leg, you may not have the strength to hit anyone. At least for some time. Okay. Okay. Nancy. Mama. I'm off here. Let's go. Sorry, sir, what happened to your leg? If I slap you, if I slap you this minute, eh? All of this was because of you. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> get out! I said, get out! The man that looks so gentle and calm without wicked. Huh? Ah. Can you imagine? I took care of that little girl when he lost his wife. I brought up that child like my own. <laughs> but he cannot listen to me, not even one day, when he starts hitting her, beating her, maltreating her. He has refused to listen to what I say. 
How? Mm. Mama, I'm still shocked. I'm, 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 I'm still, I, I don't, you know, I just, I saw him there. He was in pain. See, I, I, I helped him. And it's just to find out that he's the same man that has been matching this girl all this while. Mm. But you know what? He has to listen to me. I don't care how, but he has to. Just be careful while talking to him about it. Just be very careful. Mm. I will, I will. Mm. Mama, I, I don't know. This, this, this whole story and this whole thing just looks so abnormal to me. Mm. I mean, which father would do that to his own child? It's so abnormal. Very abnormal. I've talked to him. Told him to try seeking a psychological help. But he refused. He said he is normal. He said he is fine. He said he knows himself. And that nobody will stop him from uh, disciplining his child. But I've tried letting him know that that thing is not discipline. That he that is, is child abuse. Oh. Oh. Mm. That is maltreatment. <sighs> if, if I should sue him, they will arrest him and lock him up in jail. You've not even seen there are times that he will just pull the girl, hold her hair, and drag her all through. Kick her as if she's a football. God forbid. Uh, you haven't seen nothing yet, my dear. Mama, no, we, we can't just fold our hands and watch this thing continue to happen. We have to stop it. He has to stop doing this to Ada. It's terrible. He has to stop it. Mm. Mm. Nemeka. Nemeka. No. Ah, these are your drugs. And they contain painkillers too that are happy for the pain. Hey. Thank you so much, Nancy. How do I repay you for all these things? You don't have to. Look, I'm doing this out of my own way, okay? You don't have to pay me back. Just, hey. just take it. Thank you so much, Nancy. God bless you. God bless you too. Hey. Um, by the way, how do you feel today? Um, I'm getting better, I hope. I'm just not used to the pains. Uh -huh. It's paining me so much. Sorry. Thank you. Don't worry, you get better soon. Does it really hurt? Yeah, it hurts. Ah, sorry. Just just take that. I, I believe with that you're going to be fine. Yes, I'll, I'll take it after it. Okay. Mm. Um, what of Ada? Uh... I don't know where she is, though. I don't know. Aunt Nancy. Yes, Ada. I know I was going to see you here. How are you? Fine. You see half water? Yes, but I need to sell this too, so let me go. Ada, come, come. Look, I don't want you selling this anymore, okay? It would be so unfair for me to see you in these conditions and talking pure water on the street. But Auntie Nancy, I need to do this, please. I know. I understand what you're going through, okay? But you have to stop this. You're supposed to be in school now, not talking pure water on the street. I want to take care of you. Will you allow me to do it for you? Auntie Nancy. I don't want any troubles. I understand. I understand, okay? I'll talk to your father. I'll take care of you. I can take care of all your responsibilities. Just give me the chance to. I don't want you doing this. This is so unfair. It's no good, okay? Okay, Aunt Nancy. Just come with me so we can go and see your father.
came back? Uh, yes, yes, I did. Ah. But I came back because of that. I don't, I don't want her hawking pure water anymore on the street. I want to take full responsibility of her if you permit me. Nancy, thank God you came to my aid. Because this girl was almost killing me. I have warned this girl severely to stop hawking pure water. I warned her, but she would not listen. As a matter of fact, I, 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 I got this injury where I was looking for her to bring her back home. This girl is a very stupid and stubborn child. Ah, you don't have to insult her. Sorry, I, I... I'm sorry, sir. She's sorry. I'm apologizing on her behalf, okay? Sorry, sorry about your leg. She won't do it again. I'm taking full re responsibility of hers from now on. Nancy, thank you so much. You, you have done enough already now. You've done enough already. Sorry. Um, okay, Ada, just go inside, okay? Sorry, yeah? We'll go to the backyard. Sir? Go to the backyard, you see, you see, sir. Nancy, thank you so much. These children, I don't know. I don't, children of now and days are just like this. That's why they are kids. You can't blame them how they, how they behave. Nancy, thank you so much. Thank you for everything. No, it's fine. God bless you. Ah, it's all okay, right? sure. All right, I you. should just be on my way now. It's all right. Mm. Thank you, eh? Your drugs, remember to pick them. Yes, I, I will pick them. All right, see you later. Thank you. Bye. All right, bye. Bye. Drive safe. Ada? 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 <laughs> I don't understand why you went ahead to help him out. Why help him out? Let him just be. Mama, you know I... I just thought about everything and I... I think it's not good to pay evil with evil. Mm -hmm. Yes, he has been doing... He has been acting wrong, but... Then thinking of Ada... I just want to help the girl. I, I even uh, I told him Emeka that I'm going to take care of, of Wada and her responsibilities. And he was okay with it, so. Mm. Mm. I wonder why he respects your decision. The thing Emeka I know hmm, will always end up doing something and punish Ada for it at the end of the day. Mama, the same Emeka that I spoke to is ready to change. I can tell you, I saw it in his eyes. Okay, let's hope and see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, did you cook? I'm so hungry. I want to eat. Yes, I just finished cooking. Go to the kitchen ah. and help Mama, yourself. Thank you. Are you coming to eat with me? Go ahead. Change. Oh. Hmm. Alice, you for nothing else for the sake of that poor girl, Ada, my daughter. What did you tell her? You're still lying. Yeah? You're still lying. Come here. You keep telling everybody that, that I do not want to take care of you. Yeah? Come. Here. Come. Come here. I'm going to teach you a lesson you will not forget in the hall. Come here. Come here. You're sorry for what? I'm sorry for what? Come here. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come here. Come here. Lie down. Lie down. You keep telling everybody that I cannot take care of you. You are telling everybody that I do not want to send you to school. Stay here. Shut up. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. If you shout again, so come here. Come here. Tom. I'm sorry. Tom. Tom. Tom, Ada. Ada, say Tom. Ada, Tom. Ada. Ada, say Tom. Tom. Tom, your back. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Hey. Hey. Ada. Ada. Hey. My leg. Ah. Ada. My leg. My leg. Sorry. 
Don't punish you. Don't punish you. Don't punish you. Don't punish you. Daddy, sorry. Don't punish you. Daddy, sorry. This is what you did to your father. I'm sorry. And I'm going to punish you. I'm sorry. Ah! Sorry. Ah! 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 Leave me alone. I'm sorry. I don't leave me alone. I'm sorry. I said leave me alone, you witch. Witch. Evil child. I hate you. Get out. Get out. My leg! My leg! My leg! My leg! I hate you, Ada! I hate you, Ada! I hate you! You're an evil child! You're a ghost child! I hate you! Daddy, why do you hate me? I love you. You do the best thing I have. Why do you hate me? I love you so much. Why? I did not do anything wrong. Why are you so wicked to me? I love you. <laughs> Oh God, why? Why? <laughs> Daddy, I love you! Why do you hate me so much? Uh, what did I do wrong? What did I do? <laughs> uh, I love you. You're the only one I am. <laughs> So delicious. I, know, I can't believe you made this. Hmm. You're such a good cook. I know how to cook. Oh. No woman can ever starve me. That's my joy. You're right. With these skills, I support you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you like it. Hmm. I love it. Wait until I make a bonus soup. Ah, Ada. You how are you, my baby? Nancy. How are you doing? Fine. I didn't know you were home. Um, I was at the backyard washing clothes. Washing? Um, um, that, that's okay. Do you want to eat? Come, come sit so we eat together. Um, I'm okay. I'm not hungry. No, this is really nice. You have to try it, okay? No, 
I don't want to eat. My friend, will you get out of here? Get out of here. And when you see two adults talking, it is the discipline we are talking about. You excuse them. These are the simple things I'm trying to teach you so that I will not talk. But you keep making nonsense mistakes. Just get, go, go and do something. Get out. These children will not learn anything, no. Did you have to? Eh? Why would you do that to her? I mean, that's rude. That was so harsh on the little girl. I just asked her to come and join us so we can eat together. The next thing you're sending her away. It's not, it's not fair now. Um, I'm, I'm Let very me sorry. You're a nice person, okay? But I wonder why you act the way you do sometimes. Do you know what? I just, I think, I think I'm done. I'm, I, I lost my appetite. I want to be in my way. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry for everything. And I, I didn't mean to, 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 to get you angry. Well, you're saying it's the wrong person. Go and apologize to your daughter. She deserves your sorry, not me. I'll see you later. But, but I said I'm sorry. Eh? I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. If I call this girl a witch now, they saw I'm over exaggerating. See the way she ruined this beautiful moment for me. Ada? Ada? How are you? Auntie, I'm fine. I came to see Nancy. She is not around. Okay, it's alright. I'll just wait for her. No! You can't wait for her here. Go to your house and wait for her. <laughs> Auntie, why are you talking like this now? We're not quarreling. And who told you that? We are quarreling. Did you hear that? Since you have refused to stop maltreating your own daughter. Oh. How her mother must be turning in her grave. And, and, and please don't, don't, don't drag my wife into this. Don't, don't, don't drag my wife into it. Don't do it. Now, get out of my house in just minutes. Go! See, you are trying so upset me. Anybody seeing you would think you're gentle, yet you have a heart of stone. It's thing. I'm just coming from your house. Oh, really? Yes. Um, I went to the market to get some foodstuffs. How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. It seems Mama is not happy with me. I actually came to the house to tell you I'm sorry for yesterday. Um, but I, I think you really have to take things easy with Ada. She's just a child. Uh, well, as for Mama, I think both of you have some 
scores that you need to settle, which I know nothing about. <coughs> it's all right, though. It's all right. All right, so um, where are you off to? I'm going to the house. I need to do some things there. All right, that means I should just drop you off. Don't stress yourself. I'll just walk down. <laughs> Who says you're stressing me? Please, just come in. I want to help. I don't like this person. <laughs> you're not stressing me. Stop. <laughs> Six. six. You keep pulling six. Yeah, because I'm the six man, six two. It's not really fast though. I don't know. Six, so six again. Six so just, just okay, okay, okay. Okay, let me kiss your uh, eyes now. So you can do it. So you don't see what you're doing. Five. Five. That, that's six, enough. Six, six, six. No, that's five. Six. No, you're cheating. This is. Are you serious? Okay, yes, okay, fine. I agree. That's fine. Mm. Last time. Last time. I won't play again. <laughs> All right, we'll start again, no problem. Okay. You so, play first this time. Me? Hold up, um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nancy. I'm not lucky. Yeah, uh, maybe. Thank you. I, I want to use this opportunity to thank you for everything you have been doing for me. See, um, I'm, I'm well now. Come Thanks on. to you. It's nothing. I'm just happy you're fine now. That's what matters. Of course I'm fine. But that does not mean I'm not going to beat you in this game. I'll beat the really hair beating me. out of you again and again and okay. again. Okay, I, I bet this time you know what? Six. You I, lose. Oh. You lose that. That's it. Go here. Hi. Hi, Ada. How are you doing? Hi. No, but wait, wait, wait. I, I don't understand. You're here. How? Were you expecting her before? Did you two have an uh, agreement that you're going to see her today? So what do you mean by you're here? Eh? My family go to the backyard and clear all those glasses there and, and find something to do. What's your problem? Since when? She doesn't even have respect. This is why I try to discipline this girl all the time. I try to discipline her so that she can learn some things. But she'll never learn. Why? Why are you so harsh on this girl? She only came here to greet me. You keep pushing her away every time. It's not fair. Remember what happened to my leg? It was because of how. If not for your intervention, only, only God knows what would have happened to me. That is in the past. I mean, you're fine now, so why, why blame it on her? Why blame her every time? Anyway, you have to calm down, okay? This is just a, a child. You're so harsh. Okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm calm now. It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for, for, for getting you angry. Are you okay? I'm so sorry about what happened earlier, okay? It's okay. Wait. You mean you do all those chores by yourself? Well, how come you have a lot of plates to watch, wash while there's just two of you in this house? I don't know, but I need to wash them. They're dirty. If I don't, my father will kill me. I'm just sorry. Well, how about your arm? Do you still feel pain? But this bandage is preventing me from really using the hand. I'm sorry. You know what? I'll, I'll talk to your father so he can allow me to take you to the hospital so I can conduct an x-ray you need, okay? Well, thank you so much, Auntie Nancy. Yeah, God bless have, you. So. You're welcome, my darling. Just, um, this. Do you mind if I help you? All right, this will just, do you have soap? Yes. All right, um, go get soap. I'll help you with the clothes while you do the dishes. We have soap, but I'm afraid to go ask my father for soap. Soap? Okay, um, I'll just, I'll go and get it. Okay. I'll just, just sit, sit, sorry. Careful with your arm. Thank you, Auntie Nancy. You're welcome. Just don't touch it, okay? I'm coming back now. I need to help you. This, this is too much for you. Sorry. I'm coming. Mm. 
Now you are beginning to see things the way they are. Eh? Tell me, how far have you changed him? Mama, you know this has to be done gradually. It's a gradual process. My main focus is to, is to, is to know why he's acting the way he, he, he does. Is there any reason for wickedness? Tell me, what reason could one have for being wicked? Nemeka is wicked, he is evil, he is possessed. In short, he's demonic. He's everything evil put together. That's Nemeka for you. I, I don't know. He keeps saying he's just trying to discipline Ada. But I think it's, it's deeper than just being disciplined. <laughs> because the way he treats her is, 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 not, is not adding up. Oh, you have seen it now. Hmm? Discipline a child has turned to something else. From discipline to a bigger demon. I just want her to get out of that situation because she doesn't deserve it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just feel for the girl. Hmm. The poor girl is even used to it. She's used to it. She no longer gives a damn. Crying all the day. Injuries all over her body at every point in time. Honestly, I pray, like you said, that it comes to an end soonest. But Ada herself is stubborn like the father. I've pleaded with her to come back home. This is her home. She started here. I brought her up. Told her to come back, stay with me. She said. But Mama, you can't you can't blame her. She's just she's just she's young. She can't just leave her father and come here. It's just traumatizing. I don't blame her. You're sorry for what, Ada? Not safe. Aga, what have you done again? Why are you sorry? I'm sorry. Or are you apologizing in advance? Ada, why are you telling me you're sorry? You're sorry. Ada? Sir? Did you pause my food? Mm-mm. I did not. I did not. Where, where, where is this food coming from? Because I know before I left this house, I did not make any food. Neither did I leave any money for you to make food. So where is this food coming from? It's from Martinasi. She said that she served with us when you come back. I did not do anything. Nancy made this food. Wow. It's so nice. Eh? I hope you don't go inside there and finish all the food in the bottle. Because I still need more later. No, I have mine. I have my own. You have your own. See your mouth. You see good food. You, you, that, that, that's when you have mouth to, to talk anyhow. You have your own. Just, just get out of my face so that this food can go down very well. Yeah? Get out. Huh? Nancy can cook very well, man. Hey, you dark water. Oh, Mama, hmm? you're here. Yes, I am. I'm um, stepping out too. Where are you up to? Um, to Emeka's place. You know, I just feel like Ada will be needing help and, you know, I always go there from time to time to help her, so. And besides, <sighs> Emeka and I are now friends, so I just go there to, you know, relax and have fun. Because I've been meaning to ask, this one, you're always there. What's the meaning of this? And you said friends. What kind of friends are you? <laughs> We're just friends, just normal friends. Well, um, for now, we're just friends. That's, that's it. Okay. I know why I'm asking. I don't want trouble. 
Mama, you have nothing to worry about. Okay. Okay? We are friends. Just cool. Uh, hey, Mama, I left my clothes at the backyard. If it's about to rain, just let me take it off. I'll do that. All right, Mama, I'll see you later. Take care. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. Ah, I thought you're so good though. Wow. I had you again. Okay. Six. You're so good. What taught you how to play this? Mama did. Mama. Yes. Oh yes, I remember. Mama is so cool. Like she used to play this when I was very young. We used to play she, together. She told, she told you. you have right? Yes. Ah, no, no, no down. You play so well. So can I try now? Okay. Ah. <laughs> I'm not lucky with this. Uh, play, play. Okay. Play, play. Ah. Okay, this is this is feel like this is feel, right? Yeah, but let me try it. Okay. Bill, you know what? I bet you I'm winning this time. Okay. I'm winning. How, how much do you have to bet? I don't have any money. You should have money. Look at bet. Even if it's one naira, whatever. How much? 15 naira. 15 naira. That is much money. All right. 15 naira. Game. One, two, two three, go. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy is such a beautiful soul. She did not allow class get into her head. Ada, on the other hand, seems to be very cool and relaxed with her. I really want her to always be around. Look at them, playing games and smiling together. I've never seen Ada smile in her life. But, I've really been unfair to her. Um, you know, from the few times that I, I have been coming here, we have gone from just knowing each other to becoming family friends. I want to ask you this. Why do you hate Ada so much? Or is she not your biological daughter? Why do you ask? I have watched you closely. I see how you treat her. And there is no answer of fatherly love in it. So I have to ask. That's a long story. You see, Ada is a child I anticipated with so much love and joy. But she turned out to be the beginning of my soul. Hey, baby. Hey, hello. How are you? Oh, <laughs> you took so long. Um, what happened? I'm sorry. I'm too sorry about that. Uh, um, let me just fix something for you to eat. Oh, don't worry about that. I've handled it already. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> You're such a darling. Uh huh. And what can I possibly do without you? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Meanwhile, how was your hospital appointment? It went well. Went well? Yeah. All right. Um, all right, then. Let me set the table. Okay. I'll be right back. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh. <sighs> Babe, babe, hurry up, I'm so hungry. Mm. 
You don't have to wait for it to come back all together. Don't worry, I'm here. Oh. All right. Um, just have this appetizer while we wait. Wait a bit, okay? Appetizer? <laughs> I don't think I need an appetizer. I, I want to eat. <sighs> What's this? Appetizer. Piece of paper. <laughs> Appetizer, a piece of paper. What kind of prank is this? Place? Huh? We're having a baby. Babe? Yes. You're pregnant. Yes, really. We're having a baby. Good to be father. Yes. Really. <laughs> Thank God. <sighs> Thank you so much for choosing me. Thank you for agreeing to spend forever with me. I promise you I'm going to make you happy for the rest of your life. Okay? Come here. <laughs> oh my God. So, my baby's kicking in there right now. Yes. Right now. My baby. Yes. Baby. Baby. I'm home! Babe? What's going on? What are, what are you doing? What are you doing all this time? I thought we agreed you were not going to stress yourself again in this house. Yeah, I was just tired, so I just wanted to wash this. Wash? With my baby? Come on, darling, please. If you're tired, you go upstairs and rest. Sleep or oh, oh, just walk around the room. I, I don't want you stressing yourself like this, please. Huh? If I'm just, I'm only pregnant. I'm not, I'm not handicapped. I'm, I'm okay. All right, fine. Do you need me to get to your house, huh? No. I don't think I, there's need for that. We'll be fine. You'll be fine? Mm -hmm. Please come and sit down first and rest for the ones you've done already. Huh? Uh, you, don't, you don't need to stress yourself like this. Eh? You carry my queen and then you're, you're, you're stressing. Ha! Imagine all of this, you want to go and watch that. Please, come on, come on, please. I'm only pregnant. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I want this design for you. Babe, hmm? I don't understand this. This one you, you keep buying and buying and buying and buying. How, how are you even sure it's going to be a baby girl? Of course I'm sure. My instinct sounds. I don't want a baby girl. I want a baby boy. Well, I want a baby girl. I want a baby boy. Why? Because I don't want to share my love with anybody. Hey, 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 hey. Someone is jealous here. Come, come my love. Nobody's going to take your love away from you. Okay? I promise you. Okay, but I still want a baby boy. No, it's going to be a girl. I talked to God about that already. I also talked to God. We had an agreement. We <laughs> did too. All right, fine. Let's leave it to God and see who's going to answer first. Who well, answer me? I'm the mother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be selfish right now. No? I want a baby boy. I'm not arguing. Oh. All right. Uh, you were craving this last night, so I decided to make it for you this morning. Uh -huh. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're not going for your business today. Nope. I took a day off to stay home and take care of my pregnant wife. Mm -hmm. huh? That's so sweet. Yeah. All right. Let's go for... <laughs> what? I don't want to eat it again. All right. Tell me what you want so I, I can go in there and make it. <coughs> Thank you. Hey, 
Dave. I was looking for you everywhere. Why are you so worried? We went in to see the doctor together and he assured you that you're fine. And nothing is wrong with the child. So why are you so worried? Uh, I know, but my stomach feels so stiff. It's nothing like that, my love. All right? If there was anything like that, the doctor would have mentioned it. The baby's fine. Okay? Okay, honey. I just can't wait to give birth to this child and give testimony on the journey. It's not an easy one. Come here. Come. I know what your problem is. Your problem is inexperience. You're not experienced. Huh? But don't worry, after this I'm sure the experience will lead you further. Okay? <laughs> You're not serious. Of course I'm serious. <laughs> You're going to be fine. Okay? Okay. Alright, come. Let's go inside. Huh? Where is the list? What list? I know you'll be craving for something today. Mm -hmm. I also know our baby wants to eat something. That's why I asked you to make a list of all of this so that I buy them on my way back. Um, you huh? see, the thing is that um, I can crave for so many things at the same time mm -hmm. and different things at the same, I mean, different time. Yeah. So what you will do, yeah? Uh -huh. When you're about coming home, you call me. So I'll tell you what I'm craving for at the moment. All right, boss. I'll do just that. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then do me one favor. Make sure you take you back to Lugu for us. Okay? <laughs> what are you insinuating? My love. It's just that these days one has to beg you before you go and take your back. Hmm? It's not this your baby. Oh, don't worry, darling. I've talked to her and she's going to let you take your bath. Huh? I'll see you when I come back. Come here. Mm. You good, okay? All right, honey. All right, baby. Okay. Thank you. What have I done to deserve this? I didn't begin for this at all. What have I done? How can I lose my wife? Just like that. Oh God. Why me? Why my darling wife? Why me? Oh God. Why me? My wife didn't have to die just like that. She was so young. So loving. Why didn't the child die instead of my wife? She didn't deserve to die. She was supposed to be here with me. 
what do I do with this child now? What am I supposed to do with the baby? Oh. Yes, who's this? Machi, what do you want? What do you want? Why? Machi, say again. My warehouse. On fire. How? Machi, do something about this, please. You are showing less care and interest in your baby. Why is that? You see, I know things have not been easy with you. But there is need for your physical presence. And when, I don't mean about, I'm not talking about money, you must get that. But your physical presence around your child. You need to come around, carry her, touch her. Let her feel the love of the father, please. Madam Adugo, what's the essence of a child who kills her own mother? What's the essence? You're taking care of her. Please continue taking care of her. And leave me out of this. Oh, please, don't take it that way. It's nobody's fault what happened. There are things that happen in this life that we cannot explain. Only God knows everything. It's not the child's fault. Neither is it your own fault or anybody. So please, there's need for you to expunge and just leave out all these negative thoughts. Things will work out fine later. You see, the Bible says that all things work out together for good, for they that trust God. Things will work out fine. Please, Nemeka, just calm down. Oh, calm down, please. Madam Adugo, I'm tired. I'm tired of everything. I am tired. She should have just died with her mother. The moment that child came into this world, I lost everything. I lost my wife. I lost my business. I lost everything. I'm tired. Nemeka, please, just calm down. Do two on one. Butu, calm down. You see, I decided to take responsibility of your child because I've always taken you as a son. Even while your late mother, my best friend, was still alive. You've always been a family. So please, there's need for you to let go of what had happened. Come around this child. You should pity her. At this tender age, she's not even breastfeed them from her mother's breast milk. Come around at least, carry her, touch her. Huh? And it will also help you ease off. Hmm? Ease off what happened. We can't change what had already happened. But God knows the best. And I can assure you that with time, things will turn around for you, my son, please. Oh, thank you very much, Madam Abdubo. Thank you. So you will come around now and take it as a place. Hmm? Will you come around later? At least to carry her. Huh? Hmm? The day she was born, I lost everything. I lost my wife. I lost my business. The bundle of joy I expected turned out to be my bundle of sorrow. I was in debt. I sold everything to survive. I couldn't cope in the city because the city became too expensive for me. So I had to move down to the village. You see why I hate her so much? She's a child with ill luck. No. No, you can't say that about your own child. She's just a victim of circumstances. You can't blame this on her. I mean, it could be anyone else, you, me. So why blame it on her? Yeah, I, I just, I just imagine how life has been so difficult for her growing up without a mother.
You see? You see the level of pain you're causing her. It's not fair. Ever since I met you, Nancy, you picked interest in my daughter. The way you treat her made me realize how unfair I have been to my own daughter all this while. Minimeka, you have to make amends. You have to fix this. You can't just watch her grow like this. It's going to ruin her adulthood. So please, make peace with your child. Show her love. I mean, her, her, her mom is gone. She only has you. Now I know better. Now I know better. Just fix this. Nemeka used to be a very caring and loving gentleman. Then he used to buy me gifts each time he comes to the village. He visits me often. That was before the demise of his parents. He is an only child of his parents. And he took care of them until their demise at their old age. Everything changed after the death of his wife. The wife died after giving birth to Ada. He lost his business and everything. At the same time, he has never been the same again. He came back to the village with nothing. <sighs> Mama, this is... This is so sad. Mm -hmm. I... I imagine what he has been going through. <sighs> it's quite traumatizing, my dear. I tried convincing him. I begged him to go for his psychological help, but he refused. He said he is okay. He is fine. There was nothing else I could do. But you find out that all his pains and everything, he transferred it to Ada, that poor child I brought up. I took it upon myself. I saw him like his son to bring up his daughter Ada. It became a transfer of aggression upon the child. It pains, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Mama. Mm. Now that we know what the issue is, I feel like it's good because we we know where to come in and, and how to be of help. I mean this this explains why he has been acting the way he does. Nancy. Mama? Now look me in the eye and tell me the truth. This one you've been all over the young man and his daughter. What is happening? Are you in love with him? I'm really sorry, mother. You died while trying to bring me to this world. I wish that all that Marit said did not happen. I'm really a cursed child. I killed my own mother. 
I made my father to be poor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, why did this happen to me? God, why? Why did you let this happen to me? What is wrong with you, Ada? What is it? Ada! Ada! Tell me, I'm so good to survive! Why? Why? What happened? Why, 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 why are you talking like this? I'm so for what size is. Ada! Listen, listen, I'm, 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 I'm sorry for the way I have... Ada! Ada, what have you done? What have you done, Ada? Somebody help! Somebody help! Ada! Ada! Oh my god! Somebody help! Somebody help! Ada! Somebody help! Nancy, thank you so much. I'm very sure we must have inconvenienced you. Ah, no, 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 you did that all. I, I'm just happy doing it. I pray she gets better soon. Yeah, she is. Thank you. It's fine. Just go inside. Let me get what's the car. All right. Are you alright? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Let's go rough the past so you can move on. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Tomorrow we say brighter day We've had joy Now that my daughter Who's that? My darling daughter Don't talk to me No, no, let me kneel Let me kneel for I've cost you so much harm Ada, I'm so sorry for all I did. I'm so sorry for hurting you. Life struck with the unexpected. I was devastated. I was frustrated. And you were my victim. I'm so sorry I let my emotions cloud my sense of reasoning. Forgive me, my darling daughter. It's okay, Dad. I love you and I'm proud to be your daughter. And I'm glad that you can love me and care for me the way other fathers do to their daughter. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Aww. Listen. 
I promise you, I will be that father you always wanted. Oh my I'm so happy seeing this. Father and daughter are born. Come here, darling. We are blessed to have you in our lives. Okay? And we are happy to have you. Thank you so much, Auntie Nancy, for all you have done for me. Come here, you don't have to thank me. I love you. Love you too. Good girl. It's okay, guys. I forgive you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Auntie? Auntie, oh. Auntie? Auntie? Auntie. Auntie, Auntie, welcome. That's why you are waiting for me. I hope all is well. Auntie, I came to see Nancy. I have not seen Nancy in two days. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Nancy went to the city two days ago. I think for a meeting. Didn't she tell you? No, she didn't tell me. I'm not, I'm not aware. She went for a meeting and I don't know when she will be back. It's all right, Auntie. I would um, come back to know if she's back. Yeah. Okay. okay. My regards to Ada. <laughs> it's all right, Auntie. Ada is doing very fine now. She has eaten. Yes, she has, she's she's well fed right now. So. <laughs> That's yeah. good of you. <laughs> okay, Auntie. Take care of yourself. And you too. Thank you very much, Auntie. Yeah. Sorry. Let me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Okay. Okay. Bye bye, Auntie. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Me, Mika, and Nancy. I wonder what's going on between them. I'll know soonest, very soon, just very soon. Daddy, you're back. Yes, I'm back, my love. How are you? Fine. Dad, did you see Auntie Nancy today? Uh, I didn't see her. She traveled. She traveled to the city. Oh, that explains why she has not come here. Yeah, I think it was urgent. That's why she had to travel without telling us. Okay. Hmm? We are hoping to see her soon. Yes, I'm also hoping to see her soon. All right? Have you eaten? Yes. You like the food? Yes. You enjoy the meat? I put plenty of meat for you. 
You know, you've not even told me what your favorite food is. Okay, my favorite food is spaghetti. Huh? Spaghetti? Yes. <laughs> I don't understand. Why have you been eating spaghetti? From Mama. Mama has been spoiling you with spaghetti. Well, guess what? I make the best spaghetti. And I'm going to make spaghetti for you this evening. <laughs> eh? As a matter of fact, I'm going to the market right away. Hmm? Don't worry, taste my own. Okay. Trust me, you not eat my mouth on again. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I'm very good. And you? Fine. Mm. That's good to know. Hmm? Okay, since you're fine, I'll be going to my mom's place. All right. Um, when you get there, you greet her for me. Okay. Oh? Mm -hmm. And yes, do you have... Any idea when Nancy is coming back? No. Okay. You you help me ask Mama when okay. Nancy is coming back. Okay. Okay? Make sure you come back fast. Don't stay out too long. You know, I'll miss you. <laughs> Adana. Huh? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. She might go back to her mother and ask for a number. I don't want her to feel disturbed by me. I just hope she returns soon. I don't even know why she didn't let me know that she was traveling. I hope I've not done something wrong. That reminds me, Mama, do you know when Aunt Nancy will be coming back? Mm -mm. I don't know. Since he left, he called once. She called once and said she will call again. But I'm yet to hear from her. But I know she'll be back soon. But why are you bothered? It's not me, though. It's my dad. He has been worried since she left. How did you know that? It is written all over his face. <laughs> I don't know when she will be back. But I'm sure she will come back soon. And the moment she is back, all the promises she made to you about your school will be fulfilled. Hmm? Thank you, Mama. You're happy. <coughs> hmm? Mama, remind me that she's back so I can tell my dad. Of course I will. You even see her driving in and out. You know her car, don't you? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what are you cooking today? <laughs> you can see. Beans. And rice. Yay! Yeah. You like it? Yes. So you'll come around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know the right time for dinner. So I'll be expecting you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Four.
Nancy. <laughs> oh my God. That's you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I, I, I missed you so much. Oh, really? Yes, I, I did. Um, you know, I, I didn't even know I didn't have your number. When oh. I got to the city, I was now trying to call you. I didn't. I didn't, just, you didn't have it. Yes, yes. Well, you didn't ask for my number now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? I'm I'm fine. I I was I've been hoping. I'm I'm, I'm so happy to see you right now. Well, I'm glad you missed me. <laughs> of course, I. Did you really miss you. me? Of course. <laughs> I I missed you so much. <laughs> okay. And uh, what of Ada? Um, Ada. What? I got some things for her. You got some things for her. Yes. <laughs> oh, what about me? What did you get for me? <laughs> of course, you know I'll get for you. I got for everyone. Ah, thank you very much. I mean, while well, I, I took her to the hospital for checkup, she was complaining about some pains oh. in her hand. Yeah, so I took her there, but she's completely healed now. She's, she's fine, fine now. Yes, oh, very thank fine. God, very thank fine. God. Well, mm -hmm. I'm just happy to see you. I've, I'm happy. I'm happy you're back. As a matter of fact, I was even planning to come to the city to look for you. City. Yes, <laughs> I wanted to come back to the city and look for you. I, why are you saying city like? Well, um, I'm back now, so you can do whatever it is that you want to do with me. Seriously? Mm -hmm. You said it though. Of course <laughs> I did. I won't let you uh, go back again. Can we go inside? Well, we just sit here. Uh, all right, let's let's sit here okay, first. Sit. Mm -hmm. Right. It's good I to have you back. You. <laughs> mm. Welcome back, my daughter. Thank you, Mama. I didn't know you would come back this soon. Ah, uh, Mama, I just went because of the emergency but i have it all sorted out so i had to come back okay is that does it mean your leave is over now ah, mama you worry too much i own the business okay. i can leave and come back whenever i want i'm the boss so nobody can you know boss me around i do the commanding okay my madam <laughs> you're welcome back <laughs> Wait, Mama, are you tired of seeing me around? How do you mean? Tired of seeing my own daughter around? You know how I missed you this one week you were not around. Uh, well, let me just believe that. Ah, you just have to. I missed you though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Your new friend, Nemeka, ah, has been coming here. Hmm? Asking after you. Either he comes or he sends Ada, the daughter, to find out when you will be back. Huh. Mm -hmm. Um, well, about that, I I saw him earlier today. How do you mean you, you saw him earlier today? In other words, you went to his house before coming home? Um some something like that. Mama, you know their house is before our house, so I just you know, mm. just stopped to say hello, <coughs> hello. To Ada actually, to Ada. You know he's <coughs> mm. yes. hey. very soon I'll know what you two are hiding. Ah. Mama, stop. <laughs> which which one is <coughs> I, I only went there to see Ada. Mm. Uh, I haven't seen her in a while, so you know, I thought it wise to just stop and Say hello to her before I proceed to the house. Mm -hmm. I heard you. <laughs> Mama, stop this thing now. Stop. You're, you're, making it, you're making it feel like there is something between us. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Sooner or later. Uh, uh, her mother I'm reminds me. What about my maker? How is she? She's fine. She's a lot better now. Okay. Maybe we'll step over. Leisure to see her. Okay. Nancy. <laughs> Nancy, you have great taste for beautiful furniture. I mean, the, the, the whole house is so fine. Um, actually, this is my, my former house. This is where I used to stay before I moved into my new house. Excuse me, you mean this is even your former house? Yes. Like an old house? Mm-hmm. I actually have plans of giving this out for rent. Yes, it's a good business. I later had a change in mind. So, mm. this house, mm. 
now belongs to you and Ada. So this is your new house. From me to you. Nancy, come on now. This is this kind of place is too expensive. <laughs> like, this 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 house. It's for you, Anada. Sorry, say again. Yes. Nancy. This kind of prank. <laughs> I, my 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 heart. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't, I don't, Just stop, I please. I'm not joking. I'm serious. This is for you and Ada. This house. Nancy. You made this house. This for me and Ada. You heard me. Yes. You're doing this for me and my daughter. Why? Because I love you. And I know that the, the feeling is mutual. <sighs> of course, yes. <laughs> you know, I... I loved you from the very day I set my eyes on you. The day you helped me. I, I was just trying to hold myself back because I wasn't sure I was your kind of man. But yes, I love you. I, I, I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for for loving me despite my bad behaviors and shortcomings. Thank you for For giving my soul a new beginning. Thank you for always being there for my daughter. Thank you. Thank you too. <sighs> this is my house. <sighs> Thank you so much, Nancy. I don't. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to thank you for this. Wow. And that's not all. I I think it's high time you, you know, go back to your business. And whatever it is that you want me to assist you with, is it money or you know, anything, just feel free to tell me and I'm willing to help. Thank you, Nancy. That's enough. Um, I'm beginning to get really uncomfortable with a lot of things. Can we just sit? Oh. Oh. This is your house. So you're not coming. Sit. I, I want to see the rest of the house. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Fine. That, that's okay. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> past what? So you can move on the pains of the past is giving you weight let go of the past so you can move on let it go let it go tomorrow is a brighter day we all have a time in life when we were hurt we all have a memory we're missing We won't let yesterday stop tomorrow We won't let today to stop our future of the past So you can move on The pains of the past is giving you weight Let go of the past 
so you can move on. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Tomorrow is a brighter day. We've had joy, we've had pain. We've had hope, we've had despair. Laying blames won't take the pain away. There is a brighter day coming our way. Let go yeah. of the past. Let go so you can move on to the pain.